Yeah, I, I, I'm just want to nail down what it means to have it won, I guess, because mm -hmm. as we were so when, when we were uh, discussing the war, when we were debating the war, I thought the idea was that we would put up an Iraqi government that could be self-sufficient with an Iraqi military that could carry out operations. We spent $25 billion propping up that military, and it mm -hmm. folds even despite mm -hmm. having much greater numbers than ISIS. So I'm curious, what is the definition of victory? What is the definition of winning? Does it mean having a residual force basically without end date? I, I'm just a little bit confused. I want to know what victory is to you, Senator McCain. All right, that's Sam Stein of the Huffington Post on Morning Joe the other day. Welcome to Give Me Five. Uh, the attack knives are out. Uh, going after people like Senator McCain who are blaming the Obama administration, of blaming his foreign policy team, saying the whole team should be replaced. Uh, and the defense of Obama is weak at best. Uh, but there you saw an example of it, confronting Senator McCain, and he wasn't alone. You'll see Mika Brzezinski do the same thing. But I want you to watch. I love McCain's retort to, uh, to Sam Stein. Here we go. I think you are confused because you didn't know what happened with the surge where we basically had the, the, the country pacified, we had a, a stable government uh, in Baghdad, and we had the conflict basically for all intents and purposes won. There you go. Yeah. Um, you know, basically at that point, Sam Stein is left to do the uh, honeymooners, uh, Ralph Crandon, humana, humana, humana. Uh, I mean, McCain is absolutely right. David Ignatius of the Washington Post sat right in this chair next to me the other day and said, I don't think we ever should have gone into Iraq in the first place. But the Iraq that Barack Obama was handed should never look like this in 2014. And, you know, we could debate exactly why, but I'm with McCain on this as opposed to Sam Stein, certainly. And now here comes Mika on Morning Joe. And then we're also going into Syria, in your what? estimate? I mean, I'm just wondering, how long can we do this? How long can we do this? How long can you ask this of American troops and think it's okay? I just want to know. And I know, the same, with all the due same, respect, the sir, same, you served the same and you reason, paid a price. But how long can respect, we do this? With all, with all due respect, we, do you think we ought to pull our troops out of Korea? With all due respect, do you think we ought to pull our troops out of Bosnia? That, I got to tell you, I have... I, 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 Blame me, I never thought of that, that analogy that Senator McCain just came up with. That is a brilliant analogy. Now, granted, the circumstances are different, are, are much different. Uh, North Korea, for all the troubles we're having in, in, in the Korean Peninsula, North Korea isn't as hostile as what's going on in Iraq right now and in, in Afghanistan. And uh, nor is Germany. You know what I'm saying. These, these are hostile, ongoing, violent situations. But complete pullout, complete withdrawal, running away on a date certain has resulted in what we're seeing in Iraq. And the predictions are that once we give a date certain and pull out of Afghanistan, you'll see more of the same in Afghanistan. So this has to be taken into consideration. I believe, John McCain believes, and a little more from John McCain. Do you, we, we made great sacrifice in order to stabilize the situation. And now by pulling out, we are leaving a vacuum, and all of those sacrifices are, will be, have been made in vain. Absolutely. And we've heard that from several people right on this show. Ralph Peters, I think, was the first to talk about the blood and the treasure and the life and the limbs uh, lost uh, in those cities that are now flying the black Al-Qaeda flag. And, of course, another city falling today. I mean, they're, they're, you, you can't, you can't uh, trumpet your moves. You can't leave allies hanging out to dry. Once we go in, once we help, we can't trumpet to the world that, sorry, the United States doesn't have the stomach for it anymore. And that's all you hear from this administration. That's all you hear from this commander-in-chief. That's all you've heard from the day, from day one. We don't have the stomach for it. We don't belong there, and here's the date and time we're leaving. Are you listening, Al-Qaeda? Are you listening, Taliban? And by the way, how soon before those five Taliban members are back in Afghanistan, cutter or no cutter? It's just not a good situation, folks. Not good, as Andy Griffin would say, at all on The Steve Molesberg Show.